TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Do is we want to look at and explore the counter using the Siemens TIA Portal V114. So the counter uh, uh, the counter instruction operates a lot like the timer instruction with some minor differences that we'll go over right now. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and pull in just a regular input onto our network one, and we're going to label this with our green push button. Go back. We're going to label this. We're going to tag this to our left green push button. And then what we want to do is we want to come over to the instruction tab, expand this out, and we want to go to the counter operations. So we'll select counters. And we want to grab the function block here, the instruction for the count up instruction. And we're going to drag this, oops, double click on it. And we'll just identify this as counter one. Hit OK. And let's drag this and place this here. Get rid of this line. Now, notice that this is coming into the CU, which stands for the count up. So every time we go from a false to true transition with our left green push button, we will increment the counter by one. All right. Now let's put a preset in here of something pretty basic so we don't have to watch it click a bunch. We'll just put a preset of five. And you can do this by just entering in a five, or you can tag this to a memory instruction and be able to insert that uh, using a couple, of, a couple of different methods. And then we're going to do, we need to create a tag for our count value, okay? This is our accumulated value. So we're going to just uh, type this one, uh, counter one ACC. Hit enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on here, and we are going to define this tag, all right? And select define. Now this is where the information on the counter that is accumulating will be stored. All right. Now if we want this counter to activate an output, what we can do is we can actually, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but the most basic way is to bring this output, drop it to the queue, which will go true when your count value equals your preset value. And what we can do is we'll tie this to the left red light. This is a tag we've already created for our output. Again, I have videos, previous videos that show you how to do this. Hit enter, you can see this is tied to the output zero. And now, with every counter, we have to figure out how to insert a reset, okay? And there's a lot of different ways to do it. But the most basic way to do it is to just find an input and tag it to here, okay? So what you can do is, let me go back and show you that, you can click on where it says false right here, or and you can bring an input right to here, or you can just put a tag into that that goes to an input. So in this case, we'll just do a left yellow push button, and this will reset the counter back to zero. Now remember, counters and PLCs are retentive, so they will hold their value um, while, uh, while if the power turns off or something like that, okay? All right, now we're ready to download. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the instruction, bin, and close the project tree. It gives us a little extra room. Mm -hmm. we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and download this now. So I'll place this into monitor, turn the monitor on. And now you'll see as I activate the green button, the accumulated will start to increment. Now, when the fourth, when the fifth activation of the green left push button happens, the counter valve, the account value will equal your preset value and your queue will light up. 
Now you can see your red light is activated, it's running, and we're good to go. Okay. Now if I want to reset this, I can just activate the yellow button. That will turn the light off, and your, your accumulated value, your count value, will go down to zero. Let's look at it one more time. Okay. Now, notice that it will keep activating. It will keep counting, and this uh, red light does stay on. But, um, and so be aware of that. So sometimes you can actually create an automatic reset to reset it back to zero when that happens. All right. Well, I hope this helped. This was unit 18 in the TII. Uh, technical Education Systems, the Siemens PLC S7-1200, and the Siemens HMI Trainer. Thanks for watching.